Welcome back. You know, high school basketball is huge here in the state of Indiana. There are several gyms all over the state that hold more than six, 7,000 fans, and they fill them up on Friday night. Rob Hughes has a special report on the biggest high school gym in the country. It felt good, and uh, it was online. Yeah, I, I knew it was in. Bobby Plump has relived his legendary last shot thousands of times. It changed my life. It's the kind of story they make movies out of. Bobby Plump dribbling six seconds. For a high school basketball state championship oh, in 1954, unheard of anywhere else outside of Indiana. In every other state, it's just high school basketball, but Indiana is just there's something special in this state. Small town Milan High against powerhouse Muncie Central. It's legend in Indiana, but for others, we're gonna use you as a decoy. Buddy, he's gonna take the last shot. It's perhaps best memorialized by the 1986 classic, Hoosiers, starring Gene Hackman. What's the matter with you? I'll make it. I didn't say I'll hit it like the movie Hoosiers. Uh, by the way, that was a great line. Plump is the real life Jimmy Chitwood, the boy who scored the game winner in the movie. That is the final shot. Hoosiers was inspired by the true David versus Goliath story of the Milan Miracle. Milan, a school of 151 against uh, Muncie Central with their enrollment of over 1,500. Chris May is the director of the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame. We've got some really cool photos, actually. Which is full of names that transcend the state of Indiana. John Wooden, Oscar Robertson, Larry Bird, to name a few. Perfect example of the passion that Indiana has for high school basketball is this list. The top gymnasiums in the United States by seating capacity. Indiana, 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 Indiana. 15 of the 16 biggest high school gyms in the country are here in the Hoosier State led by Newcastle with more than 9,000 seats. And that's what, you know, Friday and Saturdays are here in Indiana is just high school basketball. This is the original floor we played on. No one knows it better than Plump, whose life changed the moment that ball went through the hoop in 1954. It did put Milan on the map. Uh, we weren't, we didn't set out to do that. It just happened. You know, Seymour, Indiana has a big gym as well. That's the hometown of John Mellencamp. 8,300 in that gym, and the wigwam in Anderson holds over 9,000, so there's great tradition here. Thank you, Rob. That's a great report. 